If you like Half Wolf Assassins with neon vibes and LSD running trip like vibes, then I've got the game for you. Neon Beast is a title that landed on my desk like the meteor that crushed the dinosaurs out of existence. It's dark, it's gritty, it's got vibes of games that I absolutely love, and I think it's something that you'll be really interested in. So I guess we'll start at the beginning. The reason this has popped up is because it was recently Realms Deep 2021, and as part of that, Rogue Games announced two brand new games the first being sprawl and the other being neon beast now from my understanding there's one dev behind the show and it was born out of a kickstarter project now i don't know if this still stands because it's being published by row games but it seems that they've got enough attention and funding that they can go ahead and make the game needless to say the game footage and demos speak for itself and that's what we're here to talk about so the game focuses on two things one is running and the other is gunning this is a game that you start firing and only finish when everyone is dead. The, prem the premise is simple enough, it's very tongue in cheek, very 80s retro vibe, basically all the gangs in Miami have signed a truce, they've got together and everything has gone to hell. And this is where you come in. You're a lone wolf assassin, no pun intended. And you basically have to go up against this guy called Vincent. He's the big bad and lives at the top of his tower and I guess will be the end boss. But he is your main target as you run and gun everything down. As I've already mentioned, this is a run and gun game. It's got loads of hotline Miami vibes, but it's also got loads of classic 90s elements to it as well. If you've played Serious Sam, you'll be immediately familiar with the constant barrage of enemies running towards you. For those who are old enough to remember it there's time slowing mechanics from games such as Mad Max and also the specialist if you can remember it and you can also dash and do various executions everything you need to enable you to have fun when you're basically just blasting your way through tons of enemies the UI is also simple enough and the reason I'm mentioning it is because whoever designed it is obviously a big fan of Goldeneye. It's got, you know, those very iconic curves either side, one with health, the other one for armor. Now in terms of gunplay for an actual alpha, I guess we could call it, or even a demo, it looks smooth and polished enough. There was a very, very large field of view as well, which gave an extra element of speed, but you got to play around. I think there was a shotgun. There's also an M4 and also a pistol. And to add extra things into the mix, you looks like you have a kick ability to really give the enemies a punt when you need to shoo them across the room or just add an extra flare level to your executions. I've already mentioned the music. It's absolutely awesome. It's very, very 80s retro. If you're a big fan of Synthwave, I think you'll be really, really enjoying this. And the light I don't know how they've done it. I guess it I guess the word is fluorescent, but there is a lot of fluorescence on everything. It looks really good. It suits the vibe of Miami. It suits the age that it's set in and it sets a really nice aesthetic. Now aside this, there's also a neon system. So apparently it's some sort of drug or drink that you can use to basically give you an extra edge in combat. And it does this by either giving you new abilities or improving ones that you already have. Now I was speculating at the moment that you get this from enemies because when you they were being shot I noticed that there were containers falling out of them on the floor so I guess that's how you get it into the system. It is a run and gun game after all so I'm guessing that the majority of your power ups are going to be coming from enemies that you've slayed along the way. I don't know too much about the story either but... The one thing that does really excite me as well is that this has been influenced by John Carpenter and if you like They Live then this is going to be right up your alley. And we've already mentioned a few games that have probably influenced this but there have been confirmations of actual titles that he's based this on. So we've got Time Splitters, Hotline Miami, Madness Combat and a few others thrown in the mix as well. Now I've watched a demo a good few times and I'm telling you it's one of the most trippy games that I've watched in a while and I'm completely behind it. I don't know how it's going to play out on a full run but from the brief jab of like nostalgia and enjoyment that I got from watching it it was really really good. There were however a few minor things that I did notice and I know it's probably unfair to really give it a poke when it's an early alpha game but some of the enemies did look a little bit too spongy and for a game that is a run and gun game and I know we've been using that term over and over again but for like Serious Sam it's like one of its strong points was that you shot the enemy and you just kept going. You just kept going and going. You weren't like delayed or tripped over by the fact that you know enemies got had to gobble up 800 bullets at a time. Maybe Serious Sam wasn't the best example because thinking about it, there were a few enemies that just 
refuse to die. But nonetheless, if you're going to make a game that, you know, wants you to go as fast as possible, then enable the person to go as fast as possible. So there we have it. If you are hungry for blood and neon soaked action, I highly recommend checking this out. There is a demo on Kickstarter that you can dig out. I'll probably put a link in the comments below. But for now, let me know what you think. I think this is going to be a great project to check out when it finally gets released. But yeah, there we have it. So uh, have a great day, everyone. I'll be back with more news and reviews soon. As always, if you've enjoyed this, hit the thumbs up and the sub button and I'll talk to you all later.